it's Olivia from Girly Bunches and in this week's video I'm going to be showing you how to make this crochet spiral. So it's quite nifty because it starts off with three colours in the middle and sort of spirals out with the colour. Um, that's hence why it's called a spiral. <laughs> um, it just is a normal kind of circle pattern but I'm just going to show you how to incorporate these three colours. Um, I stopped at a certain point just to show you how to um, taper in the edges so you know you could keep going and make this into a hat or a bag or something you know this could be the base of something or you could just make it into a nice spiral coaster I probably won't make it as big um, again because I want to be able to show you how to finish this edge off um, yeah so I'm going to get on and show you how to make this so I'm going to start off with a um, purple colour it probably looks blue but it is purple <laughs> and um, I'm using a double knit yarn and a four mil hook so you use the appropriate hook for the yarn that you are, you, that you are using. <laughs> um, I'm going to start off with a magic loop and I have got a video dedicated to that but if you don't know just quickly you just wrap the yarn around your finger twice put the hook underneath two loops bring the, the loop that's nearest your knuckle underneath the loop that's nearest your finger uh, nail and then just do a sort of little slip stitch there and then that slips off your finger and now you've got this expandable loop here that you can work your stitches in and that you can pull it tight which is really useful for this pattern because um, <clears throat> we want to have a nice sort of close um, circle um, loop at the, at the start. So what we're going to do is we're going to start doing um, four trebles into this magic loop. So I am British so I use British terminology. You may know that as a double crochet but I call it a treble. So it's one, two, three chains to replace my first treble and then two, um, three more trebles into this loop. So that's one, two, three, four. Okay, now I'm going to take this hook out and I'm going to make a nice large loop there because whilst we're getting involved with the other colours we don't want that one to um, come undone. So now I'm going to go in with some yellow but I'm going to make a um, slip knot and attach that to the hook before I get started. So I'm going to pick up my work I've already done and I'm just going to start by putting the hook into the loop uh, oops. put the hook into the loop and I'm just going to do a slip stitch to join that on like so and now I'm going to do three chains one, two, three and then three more trebles one two three so I've got four all together one two three four and again going to make a nice long loop so that we don't accidentally pull that through I'm just going to move that around closer to my my purple group and now I'm going to go with my last colour peach doesn't matter obviously <laughs> I'm just explaining and uh, again going to attach that with a slip knot to my hook and then into my magic loop I'm going to do a slip stitch so yeah we've got lots of ends going on here so you know no need to rush take your time make sure you, you're working with the right end and again three chains to make my first treble and then three more to make that four all together Okay, so again, going to pull that out nice and long loop. Okay, so now we're going to find the tail end of the magic loop, which is this short end here. I'll just show you that's that tail end there. Now if I just pull that tail end, that's going to pull that loop in the middle nice and firm up together and that gives us a nice starting point. Okay, so I've got my three colours started. So we started with the purple, then I went to the yellow and then onto the peach. So the next colour we're going to work is the purple. So now I need to pull that loop 
closer so that we can work with it. So, so if you have never worked uh, a crochet circle before, I highly recommend you go and watch my, and I'm just pointing up here because I'm going to link it up here, um, a basic circle video. I really recommend you watch that because it's really going to help you with the next few rows. Um, let me just put this down. So we've got the first groups here. So you've got the one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Now we're going to do four stitches again, as in we're going to work into the next four stitches. So that's one, two, three, four. And into those four stitches, we're going to work eight stitches. So I've done two into the next four. So that's two, four, six, eight. So hopefully you can see what I've got here. So we've got one, two stitches into that one stitch there, one, two into that one, one, two into that third one, one, two into that fourth one. So, and that's what we're going to do now with the, with the colour. So we're just going to start working straight into that next treble along. Get this to focus. Thank you. What's going on? Got stuff not working here. Right. We're going to do two trebles into the next four stitches, which are the yellow ones. So just go ahead to start working the trebles. So that's one, two, and into the next one we're going to do two, and then into the next one we're going to do two. And again, into that last one there, we're just going to put the hook. So don't panic about having this loop out here. That's fine. That's just the next stitch. So we're just going to put it into the same place that we would normally. And that is there. So that's one, two. Okay, so don't worry if it works loose. Don't panic. We're going to, it will be fine. Okay. So again, I'm done with that. So I'm going to take that big loop so that it doesn't come um, undone. And now we're going to start working the yellow. So put the hook into that loop. And as you pull that tail end, it tightens up nicely. So you go, there you go. See, it's fine now. So now we're going to start working two trebles into the next four stitches, which is now the peach. And again into that very last one, two trebles. And make a nice long loop so it doesn't come undone. And I'm going to put my hook into that peach yarn loop there and now I can start working my two trebles into the next four stitches so now we've got more than four so don't get carried away make sure you just limit yourself to the next four so that's one two three four <clears throat> and I pull that nice long loop and let's have a look to see what we've got here the start of our swirl so if you have watched that um, video about making circles or you are familiar with the method of expanding the number of stitches as you go out then um, the next part will seem quite logical and will make sense if you haven't again I do recommend you go and watch it but I will cover it here so we need to increase the number of stitches um, in a nice gentle fashion. So we had one, two, three, four, and then we had two, four, six, eight. Now I want to make that 12 stitches into the next um, into the next eight stitches. Okay, so I'm going to carry on with the treble, so I'm going to do two trebles into the next stitch.
Oops. And then one treble into the next stitch. So I've got one, two, three. And I'm going to repeat that three more times. So two trebles into the next stitch. one treble into the next stitch along. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Two trebles into the next one. And one into the next stitch along. Now I'll have nine stitches and just three more makes 12. So two trebles into the next stitch, one, two, and then one treble into that last stitch there. And now what you're getting is a nice gentle expansion of that circle. So you're going to repeat that now for the other two colours and I'm going to come back when I've got to here to show you how to expand one more time. Okay, so we have got all of our um, stitches. So don't forget not to get carried away when you're doing this edge because it's already established. So you don't you don't have a stopping point. Okay, right. So the next round, this time we're going to do we're going to start with two, and then in between the groups of two, we're going to have two on their own let me explain so we've got now got 12 stitches and now I'm going to work 18 stitches into those 12 so we're increasing the number by four each time right so into the next treble we're going to do two trebles one two into the next two trebles along we're going to just do one treble so that's one two. So one, two, three, four. I'm going to repeat that three more times. Four times four is 16. <laughs> so that's one, two, and then two into the next two. One, two. I meant one into the next two. <laughs> okay, again, one, two, and the next two stitches, one each. If you're getting into crochet and thought you didn't have to do any counting, then you're wrong. And if you don't like counting, crochet isn't for you. <laughs> okay, so last, now we have one, two, three stitches, which is great because we're going to do two into that one and then one and one into those. So that's perfect. That's just what we wanted. Helps if I put it into the right stitch. There we go. <laughs> one, two, and then one and one more into that last one there. Great. So we repeat that now with um, the other two colours. So I'm going to fill up that and then start with the pink, uh, the peach working around here. So just remember um, the number of stitches that you have to work into. Don't get carried away. So you want a total of um, 16 stitches and you're going to do 16 stitches into these 12 and then you do 16 stitches across the next 12 stitches here. And I'm going to come back and I'm going to start showing you how to taper in the edges. So that... Okay, so now we're going to start working the edge so that it's going to start finishing it off. So everything so far has been in multiples of four. So what we're going to do is we're going to carry on doing the expansion so that we get the nice um, gentle curve. Um, so this time we're going to have three single trebles in between the groups of two. So we're going to do one, two into the same space. And then we're going to have three, so that's one, two, three. So 
in the previous rounds at this point I've said you need to repeat that three more times this is now this time you just repeat it once using the trebles so one two trebles and then we're going to do one two three single trebles across the next three stitches one two three now we're going to do that again but we're going to do them in half trebles this time so a half treble if you don't know is yarn over the hook put it into the stitch grab the yarn put it through and if you're doing a treble you just pull it the yarn through the first two loops but actually we're going to put it through all three loops on the hook so that's a half treble so we're going to do another one into that same space and it's a shorter stitch than the treble so we're now going to start bringing it down a bit so now I'm going to do three of those across the next three stitches so that's three half trebles so that's one two three and now I've got um, to do that but I'm going to do it in a double crochet which you may know as a single crochet um, you may know the half treble as a half double crochet so we're going to do sing um, double crochets now but you may know them as singles <coughs> so that's just we're going to do two into the next one so that's one two and then three across the next um, one across the next three so one, two, and there's our last one there. Now that's our finishing stitch for that round. So I'm just going to leave the loop there. I'm not going to cut anything just yet. Sorry about my squeaky chair. <laughs> right, so now I'm going to do the yellow. Exactly the same. So I'll just cover that again. And that's going to be two trebles into the next stitch one two and then one across the next three one two three sorry it's not focusing one two three and I'm going to repeat that with the trebles one two and then one, two, three, and now I'm going to start working them in half trebles. Same pattern. It's got that loop there, it wants to disappear. <clears throat> That's one, and another one into the same space. And one, two, three, and then I'm going to work my stitches now in double crochets, same pattern, so that's two into the next one, and then one, two, three, one, two, three, and now I'm just going to work my last row um, round of peach and I shall come back to cut the ends and show you what I do with them. So there you go, I've gone all the way around now and I've tapered off those edges to make them look like they're disappearing into themselves which is great. So now I can cut all of my my ends, so my middle bits, and I can cut this one and this one. And you just finish them off with a nice sort of pull the end through the loop nice and tight and as you can see when you sew that down that end down you can sew it down sort of creatively and that will give you a nice smooth tapered edge so that is how I do um, a crochet spiral and I think it's really cool <laughs> if I don't mind saying so myself so um, that's just that one I've just done and there's this one I did which is bigger you kind of get a better idea Okay, so that's that crochet swirl pattern. I really hope you enjoyed this video, something different. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, just pop them down below um, in the comments section. 
uh, do check out the description box underneath the video I put lots of links in there some information that you might need and there'll be links up here to other videos that will help you with this um, tutorial so yep take care I'll see you in my next video and um, subscribe if you haven't yeah <laughs> hit that subscribe button okay bye